guys in this video i will tell you if you forget your passcode your ipad or iphone is disabled how to fix it okay so you will need two things a computer with windows or laptop anything you have and then you should have installed itunes software in your laptop or computer okay then you will note down a model number which is written on every device on the back side so carefully note it down it will start with letter a okay so my ipad number is a1538 so your device will be having your own model number which is different from this so note it down carefully after this open your web browser google chrome or any browser you have then type in website address like uh, you can type ipsw.me in the website address or in search bar okay after you will see this click on identify my device when you have clicked on it you will select your device whether your iPhone is disabled or iPad so type your model number here then click on identify my device okay after you have clicked identify my device then you will show then you will see this screen then click on this area iPad OS 13.5.1 okay then you will see next screen with download option okay so download the file this file will take some time when it is downloading okay after this file will be downloaded in your downloads folder or any path you have assigned to your downloads so make sure you have downloaded this file completely after that after this you will open your control panel okay then you will select a folder folder options click on it then you will select show hidden files folders and drives so after you have clicked on it you will look for the folder app data okay if you do not see here you can check your c drive in users folder okay so in app data you will go to the next folder roaming okay after this you will select apple computer then you will go to itunes software folder then you will create a new folder here okay and you will name it as ipad software updates make sure you type the name correctly iPad software updates as it is written and if you have phone issue then you will type the phone name for it okay so like for iPad you will type iPad software updates for phone you will type iPhone software updates after that you will copy paste the downloaded file from downloads to this folder iPad software updates okay after you have successfully copy pasted here then you will run your software iTunes make sure after this step you run iTunes okay like this and you will connect your device with your iTunes software by connecting table by connecting cable okay make sure you have connected cable with iPad side and computer side so as you have connected then you have to press home and power button together keep pressing it do not release any button and when you will see Apple logo then you will release your power button 
but do not release the home button okay home button is the center button at the bottom of iPad or iPhone okay as you see this cable sign of iTunes now you will release the home button also okay so you have released the home button now and your iPad is in recovery mode after that you will see this option update and restore select restore okay then select restore and update after you have selected this option your mobile or iPad will be configured as a factory default in settings so make sure you have its backup data in somewhere else in your computer or in some other device so that you can retrieve your data after resolving this issue so this process will take about 20 to 30 minutes So let this process complete after this you will see the output like this now set it up for your settings and keep enjoying your device